Razem z ekipą oraz stroną CSGO Watson zorganizowaliśmy dla Was giveaway na kostkę Bayonet Marble Fade wartą ponad 350 dolarów. Także wpijaj w pierwszy link w opisie, a może to właśnie Ty zgarniesz tą piękną kostkę. A Ty jeżeli chcesz wygrać skina przedstawionego na ekranie, zasubskrybuj kanał razem z dzwoneczkiem, polub ten materiał, polub face'a oraz napisz komentarz z godziną, o której oglądasz ten materiał. I jeżeli dobijecie tutaj 1000 łapek w górę, to będę wrzucał Wam częściej takie skróty meczów. I dodatkowo, jeżeli chcecie zgarnąć darmowe 20 dolarów w skinach BA, drugi link w opisie, możesz także wziąć udział w giveaway o 10 kost Tiger Tut. Gorąco polecam i zapraszam. The door being exploded, the plans it would seem for the VP side. Draken has found one but does get traded back by Bialy on the outside portion of the map. As the team seems a little bit split and just sort of playing around with things, in all honesty. Yeah, the fact that this nuke pick is coming first is actually very favorable for, for VP in this series, I would say. They need to kick this one off with a bang, and there we go. Pasha will. He's already dropped res on the opener. VP now with a man advantage going to split down towards B. They've taken ramp. They've got a man in the vents. Get right. Does he realize? Does he already know? Because now they've taken control of the B bomb site. Pasha is down there. So VP full control of this round. It's a four on three retake coming through. There's a good kill from Dennis. Bialy going to be unsuspecting of that flank. And now the retake is on for Nip. They've got to move quickly though. While well, the kit is in play on get right, they need to find out exactly where VP are playing because no one's in the site. No yeah. one's playing aggressive at all. They're extremely passive and hidden on these post parts. And there's a spot from Dennis. Good kill with the pistol. That's what he's known for afterwards. Now just a two on two. They need to get right on this bomb. Get right dead with a kit. But Forrest has found two headshots. To be honest, I, I, I would, you know, assume you can get five rounds. I'd say that's pretty decent. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't be too worried if they could do that. And already VP looking to find their second. It's a quick A execute again. The flick missed this time though. Dennis will make up for it, but only for one. It's trades back and forth, but still within the man. Advantage for VP, and that won't change. What a massacre of... This is a really annoying angle as well to deal with, because... Oh, okay, right, cool. Forget all that. Snacks has just walked out straight into ramp and taken down Rez. So man advantage has been taken for VP. Get right now feels a lot more pressure to try and trade yeah. this, try and get a kill. But the issue is there's so many players around him. You can hear all these footsteps. He knows he's about to be checked and he's got to get something out of this. Got to get at least a kill, maybe two, if he lets them walk past. And he does. Perfect play from Get Right. But who else would do this there? Oh, no, oh. Bialy. He flicked back in the middle of the spray and takes him down. VP now double pick and a five on three. That is so unlucky as Draken falls as well. May well have been the round going the way of Get Right and the NIP boys, but unfortunately it doesn't work out for them. And now Vertus Pro in prime position to say this one. Forest is the last line of defense here on the B bomb site, not even able to find a single mathematical victory. Oh, that's an awkward peek outside. The timing was so good from Get Right, but not equipped for the job. Bialy will take him down, and now NIP back into this 4 or 4 It seems like they continually get this man advantage, and VP managed to pull it back. Will NIP be able to go one step ahead? Because Mihu's already splitting that outside. The smoke down in main covering his position. And NIP heavy on the A site at the very least. So if VP do wrap through the heaven, they're going to wrap into their possible deaths. There's still so much time left up for the Polish. They don't have to commit any time soon. Rez just waits. Mihu is coming in from below. That is one of the issues, so has to be aware of that. He does check it. Good timing. Forrest, in the meantime, also drops a player outside. So now NIP, two-man advantage. Fall off from Rez. Doesn't want to commit. Oh. And that's the bomb dropped down onto the site. Viali in a one-on-four. He can get one. They've had some good rounds here and there, but a lot of that is kind of predicated. Dennis has been really quiet, I have to say. And Draken with the AWP has not had like the biggest impact that he generally does. Um, so it might be difficult for them going into the second half. Forrest, meanwhile, you're never reliable. Get right also, of course. And suddenly, everybody's getting kills. So we'll see who is able to take it. He kind of hand it to VP with those strong stalwarts, but they both Ooh. fall immediately. It's a really quick take coming in from the CT side, and what? it's over in seconds. Uh, Snacks giving him anything here as he's just watching that crack. As they come creeping around the corner, he might be able to take one down. Might not be expecting him here, but I feel like this is a bit of a one and done spot in all honesty. Finds Dennis and drops down, so he recognizes the fact that he can't really stay there. Puts the Molotov onto ramp. Gets away unpunished, so four on four now as Pasha does a good job of evening up the man advantage and not giving away too much control either. Gonna hear Get Right dropping in, finds him. There's a couple more plays he's gotta deal with. Gets a bit too aggressive on that one, and it will cost him his life. So back into the three on three, and Draken as well able to find Bialy. And suddenly VP have just crumbled as Snacks left in the one on three. Yeah, great reaction from NIP, and that's all down to Pasha over... 
Jack's an aggressive position taken by Ooh. Pigali. Draken's not ready for it. Not good for one this round. He's going to go down straight away. VP now. The pick in their hands. And NIP setting their sights towards the outside where Pasha is already raining down death. His next kill of the round. So that's going to be get right dropped. NIP, where do you go from here? It's going to be difficult for them to get back into things. There's a fair amount of utility remaining but no smokes as they've used them to gain this outside control, trying to sneak around, but it's going to be Dennis to drop. And the bomb goes with him. So now a five on two situation. Snacks is aware of the fact that they're over towards red. Just get blinded up, but not quite able to capitalize on the NIP side of things. A bit of a late reaction from both players on the edge of that smoke. As far as does find two, but at this point might just be consolation kills as it's res in the one on three. They're vaguely aware of his position here outside. They're actually going to spot him out. He has no idea where he's getting shot from. Does find the head of Bialy, not quite able to tap away on. It's all he really needs to do. As the flash goes in, he gets blinded, won't be able to take down a player. Does do damage though. Low HP here on the NIP players. They filter down ramp towards BME, who's there on the receiving end in the vents, and he can actually drop one. That's Rez who made his way down earlier through secret. Again, lots of damage done by Rez in the process that Dennis finishes off, and NIP, they're over this B-bomb site. Draken and Dennis, 12 HP between them. Get right as well is only on 40, so suddenly looking very doable for the BP side of things. Get right does take down Bialy, but Snacks Ever Reliable is going to come through and pick up himself a kill, evening up that man advantage scoreline yet again. There's a fair amount of kits for this CT side forest, so from behind the silo, only able to pick up one, and now into the two-on-two -two to keep NIP in it. It's going to be so difficult for them to do this. And get right with a beautiful flick on. It's going to be Draken on one HP, and the reaction from Neo will take it. And now for the full rap to come in and take Neo down to 34 HP as well. The first kill has been found. It's a full hit coming in from NIP now. Oh, Pasha needs a big round. His team's all dead, but it doesn't matter. Pasha gets two. Can't quite follow up, but his job is done. Can VP step up and win the round? It's not going to be an easy one. We already talked about how difficult retaking is on this exact map and site. With no kit as well, that adds further complications. Draken just holding the angle, confident. He's going to miss a shot. Both of them will, in fact. It's me who posts back on the angle. Snack's going to begin to move in, but he won't check the left side of the site. And now VP left to one man. It's seeming to be over. They're confidently peaking. Remains to be seen at this point in time. They might just be able to make something happen. Get right, gets one. Asher immediately trades him back, but now Forrest opening up so beautifully for NIP. Brings it back into the three-on-two situation. As Mihu and Snacks are going to have to go for the retake. They feel like they need this round. Bomb yet to go down. So Snacks has actually gotten himself into a pretty advanced position. Oh, he doesn't have a kit. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why he's hanging around. Just trying to do damage, but... I mean, gonna maybe they didn't see the banana smoke because they would have been down. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, very true, very true. Here's the push, though, from NIP. Me, who actually will get one kill coming in from the back lines. He's flanked all the way around. What's happened here? He smoked it off. They're going to continue to push. They're just, just going to ignore Me, who Neo on the site does get one. And Me, who just dives through his own smoke, finds another one. Forrest to trade back, and it's a 1v1 all of a sudden. Forrest up against Pasha with nine seconds remaining. He's got to stick this bomb plant. He's got to force out Pasha to peek, and he will go for it. Bomb plant coming in. Well, loose change. As NIP now look to commit, it's going to just be one man. The rest of them walking back up towards a res. Great shot on the opener. Trade instantly in, but that's forcing a rotation from VP, and it's a missed rotation because NIP are hitting A. Draken going to find Pasha over towards Long as well, now leaving Snacks with it all to do on this A bomb site. At least the flanker has been taken down, but not quite able to finish off Get Right. I think he thought he'd finished up on that kill. And the misread will unfortunately cost him. So now it's going to be a one-on-two situation for me who got the kit in hand, not quite ready for Draken to be here in Boiler, which is six times, is realizing when they're on the back foot and not just forcing the issue. Like, Neo is getting aggressive here. Ooh. He does actually find the kill off the back of that flash, and Bialy is in. Yeah, he's not been given the opportunity, though. Get right on the other side, and there we go. Max 7 all the way. Sax is going to take down Dennis. Flash to force. Get right off, and there's Pasha. He's pushed the smoke. Botting for information. He's seen them. The flash over, though. That's going to force him off the angle. That's big as well, because it gives VP a lot of ground, and Bialy will take him down. Perhaps the confidence getting to NIP here and really costing them taking some over-aggressive peaks. It's going to be Dennis, the pistol Ooh. master, so he is with the P2K in hand, able to find the head of the first. Not able to find Ooh. the second as yet, but he will. He drops that bomb as well. Can't quite connect onto the third one, so it will be a three-on-two situation. It's Forrest looking to try and get something done as he's the only one standing now for NIP. No kit in hand, of course, Neo. No armor. Ooh. The body spam coming in almost takes him down, in all fairness. And 37 HP left for Pasha, so definitely a chance for him to do this one. Oh. As Pasha was I mean, 
put a stop. It's four rounds in a row, but of course. Oh, oh, that is still not out yet. Yeah, okay. All right, now we're back in. <laughs> Pasha kicking things off. Draken's dead. Where's with the other AWP, but get right to holding the cross. He won't be able to take that first shot through library, but if anything, that just confirms the fact that he's not here. However, VP still don't take the risk. They smoke it off, and Pasha holds close. No chance, get right. Now it's only the man in pit who really has to get it done. Dennis as well on the site, actually. He can peek out and do the damage, and what? The round is just over like that. Times, I have to say, but what can I say? It's been a long day. <laughs> Draken in mid though. Oh, lots of forcing him out of position. Flash oh. is perfect, oh. but Forrest is better. As he already finds one. Mihu double trades back. Still kills going the way of VP. Somehow they're in the man advantage, Ooh. but no. Get right mows them both down. Neo now left in a 1v1. He's not had the best of games, as you've said, but this isn't impossible for him. Res is only on an AWP and a CZ. Neo. Just needs to land that fatal headshot. Bomb already going down, just gonna stick that part at the back of the site. But he doesn't. No res is coming up so close. And Neo just fit. That normally they need those players to step up, just not quite doing so. So going oh. up for a straight up B rush in yeah. what could potentially be the final it's round. Over. Forrest finds three kills. Rez has got one for himself. I, I don't know. I'm leaning towards NIP, but we will see. We're straight into the pistol round. They do speed up onto the A site. Nades just flying on over, keeping VP out. And the bomb can go down. Five on five retake here. It's a bit of a solid mid stack coming in. More players over towards B as well, as it doesn't really Ooh. work out initially. But Snacks and Neo are going to bring two back in favor. Break it three now, as it's going to be a five on two situation going forwards. VP no kit, but at this point in time, when there's so many players down, for the T side, they can just kind of body block it in, but Dennis with the P250 gonna find two quick kills, not quite able to convert into the third. Forrest, meanwhile, is here. The two stalwarts of the pistols, there's certainly a chance for him to take this. As Snacks, nine HP, Neo, 24. He himself is on rather low HP. Snacks needs to find it quickly, and he does, but they're not able to, uh, you know, adjust. Oh, Yali, tapping the feet off. Meanwhile, Forrest has actually found a kill onto Mihu. Neo has traded it back. So it's into a four on four. It's above that connector smoke. He is able to get something done. That's something that we often see the CTs put down themselves as a little bit of a cheeky one way, especially for those orps. Oh. Yali eventually gets his kill in. So we're going to pull the man advantage back in favor of the CT side, but trades are going back and forth right now as players are getting caught out one by one. Finally, NIP will win one that gets untraded. So it's a three on two in their favor, looking to go towards A here. Oh, but Rez is going to get caught out. I think he's not watching the right way. Neither are Snacks. The timing as he checks top mid, peeked into the connector and Pasha in a 1v3. Not a clue where any of these players are as well. Spotted by Draken. That's the info now. NIP don't need to take this fight. They can just play, you know, dual rare. You know, you probably haven't seen it before if you knew. <laughs> Well, Neo's about to meet his maker. They are out ramp. He's found one. That's, I mean, that's good enough, right? You do want a little bit more. Neo has certainly done his Ooh. job with three kills. Pistol is out, trying to catch the last one, but he's hidden in the smoke. The criminal, as he's waiting to try and find an angle to get right, maybe upgrade his gun. He's done exactly that. Drop both of them and finds the AK back, but his entire team have made up the round. It doesn't matter. Neo could justify it but they're going to slow default mid and that gives Bialy all the room to push up there's the lack of head armor coming into effect Draken just gets shut down Rez can't trade because he's too slow coming out of the uh, underpass and yeah. already Bialy's fallen back to the connector Pasha has to fear for his life does not want to give away this auto sniper and a boost may come through oh yeah and they find him nice that try. will be that so unfortunately uh, no golden-esque plays coming in with that one <laughs> he will get shut down. Rez as well going to find Bialy, and suddenly Dennis is doing a hell of a lot of damage as they get this boost up in towards window. So a nice early pick from Bialy might not be enough, but Neo over towards Firebox going to go relatively unchecked as this bomb is going to get planted. Finds Rez. Tetris brings it back into a three on two. They're going to be aware of his position, but a beautiful flashbang and a green a little bit here. They lose the first man. Bialy oh, is able to trade back, timing. get right at the time. It doesn't work out for me who... He's still going to be aware of those players underneath, but they will take him down very quickly. Dennis has been so good on the entries recently. On the edge of the smoke, though, Pasha has spotted him out. Will take him down. I think he was waiting for a few more players to creep by, but they do not. He and Bialy holding down this A-bomb site so very well, and Rez wow. not, not going. We did see them come alive on their T side of Inferno. Just unfortunately too big of a gap to fill. Dennis as well going to make it a bit more difficult going into the pistol. Of the second half as he finds the first kill, Draken and Rez chiming in with two. So suddenly it's a one on five for Snacks. 
Try and find what he can. Not yeah. much, but look at this from Draken. Oh, he's so blind. Went straight up to the top of middle. The issue is the teaser challenging it as well. Somehow NIP win these duels. Pass a great shot on the trade, but Draken's still here and Forrest is here for support as well. Bombs dropped in the open. NIP have full control over middle. And they just disperse. They leave Forrest up there. Everyone else goes back towards the site. VP are going to have a very tough round. I can tell you that now. Team... No one's like working off of each other. Flashes after counter flashes, they really should have capitalized on oh. that one. But suddenly, they're able to walk in here as Bialy finds Draken, opens up the A bomb site relatively well. No he idea no where he's idea. getting shot from. The beauty of the A1S. I think that uh, flash is going to give it away, but Rez. I like that. Good, uh, good old run. Oh, VP, maybe a contact play on A. Draken's actually kicked things off for the AWP. So Mihu Deb, but VP react by just bursting the bomb site. Neo, again, so much impact in these last few rounds. He's going to open up again. Draken dead. Get right, he's stuck on the stairs. Dennis already dead in the spawn, and Get Right's got to step up here. His team are falling apart around him. Pasha's has already worked his way close. They don't know Get Right's here, and there it is. There's one big kill. Pasha caught in the open, and then NIP back in the man advantage. I'm going to get planted here. There's kits for a couple of the players on the NIP side. They've got a fair amount of utility to work with as well. Rez with that double AWP, the second one of the two, going to be. One of the kill leaves Bialy now in the one on three situation. There's a few too many bodies to be dealing with. Finds there the forest. Also finds Rez and now got a chance as he's already tagged up Get Right. Leaving it in the one on one, but Get Right side of things, especially at this late point in the game. Pasha spots out Forrest's knee and will take him down eventually. Dennis as well, not going to be aware of the fact that there's a boost coming towards window. Timing works out in his favor so he won't get taken down, but. Oh, Draken missing that shot could be absolutely huge as VP now five on three. Made his way in towards market snacks. Oh. Trying to find the kill, can't quite do it. There's only 40 seconds remaining, but so much control. Get right has got five players coming on him. And he's the only one here. NIP still have two players on the B side. This is having to be all get right around. He's got to win this for his team. Keep themselves in this map. He's got one, but it's not enough. His team desperately wanting to rotate 15. <laughs> it's overtime yeah. or loss. So I know which option they'll take. And Draken has already taken the first kill. He rushed underpass and upgraded to an AK-47. So now... A pick for NIP, a chance for NIP as well. Neo going to lurk his way up middle, though. Will he catch Draken leaving into the connector? He does, Ooh. but he doesn't take him down. There's a second player peeking in as well. Dennis trying to take that kill. Pasha has snuck out the ramp in the meantime, and he's opened up to get right. So VP, a big opportunity here, but it's Neo and Pasha both to crumble, leaving just two up for the Polish roster. Make it three for the NIP side now as Mihu, Bialy to keep their teams in the victory for regulation at the very least. It's Draken left on 14 HP over towards CT. Holding a very passive angle, though. Not going to be expected. So now Bialy, one on three. He has been known in the past for his incredible clutch rounds. A little bit quiet, perhaps, on this map here. Just chiming in with a kill here and there. But maybe going to come alive here as he seems to be savvy towards the connector position. Actually finds the head of Dennis. And now knows this one over towards CT. <gasps> Find Draken as well. Will he be ready for Reds to be there? The Flash surely going to give it away as he turns around. Oh! And he finds the head, takes it 16-14 for Verdus Pro.